save your game. Hey there. Game saved. To attack on time. Yep. See you already prepared a plan. Walk me through it. We have two objectives: to find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep, restored not long past by the elderly knight of the castle, Roderick. We mean to strike here, through the main gate. Then secure the area in front of the keep by storm. How many men defend Duntine, you know? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. They are no army, but they could number several dozen. Also, Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. About them we know very little. Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders, keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way, find the women, make sure they come to no harm. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk, but I sense you will handle it well. Let us go. Let us go. So it begins. Here we go. Quick, we grab Roderick's horses and we bolt. We won't vault far if the boys out front don't hold. Not so fast. Little change of plans. Alright, well, we're gonna do Hangman's Venom. And we're gonna do. Thunderbolt. He's looking to flee. Can't let him. I see no ducals along the road. They must not be God. Bloody fuck! What was that? that? Oh. On the wagon. Hurry, 
Stay with those crates. Be careful that. if you drop any. Someone's here. They've breached the back wall. Come on. Kill him. I'm a heart. Thoughts on Ghostwire I Tokyo? Know. I haven't even played it, I have no idea. <sighs> Kept the wrong damn company. Centrian's men, where are they? Uh, I knew. Shouldn't have let them under my roof. Where's the hostage, the woman? Uh, what? What do you mean? I know nothing about a hostage. Must must be the handiwork of my guests. Where are they now? In... in the keep, ready in their escape. There's someone with them, a woman named Siana. Of... of course. She... she convinced me to let them in. And a whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack... packing... We were to leave together, an old fool. I'd have done anything for her. Where is she? In the keep too? It, yes. Her chamber Comes is. Comes out in March, same team in the medieval the within one. Gotcha. Oh yeah, Shinji Mikami. Yeah, I I honestly what haven't even seen much about it to really me? formulate an opinion at this point. the wound should staunch the bleeding i i thank you he's not the one i'm after he doesn't need to die Get him. I don't think there's another one up right now. Let's see. Oh, 
he's there, I see him. Thing right now. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Giving you one last chance. Yield. And Han has got us into this. Kill him! Attack! You don't think you're fucked too, bud? <laughs> Could use the extra help, I guess. Need to get into the keep. They shall pay for everything. Gotta be more. Maybe they were back here. They didn't follow. I don't know. You could use our help. So, Witcher, this is no time to explain. Where is Renner? Expect to answer a lot of questions inside. Let us go then. All right. Well. Never let them hurt me. I just waited for you to come. I, oh, he's getting I fucked. Know where to look. They threatened to kill you. I forgive me. 
I failed. That bottle is highly sus. Now we need only find Anna Henrietta's sister. Where should we look? Do you know? Mm-hmm. Ran into Roderick, Duntine's lord. Told me where I'd find Sienna. Then speak and let's grab her. Time is short. Said she was in a room in the tower. The very one we're in right now. Which, incidentally, looks nothing like a prison cell. And just so happens there's a carafe full of wine here. Bet it's stolen Saint Real. What's your point? Oh, fuck. <sighs> Giving you one chance to tell us everything yourself. I've nothing to tell. Witcher, what is this? Sorry, Deadlaff. You've been had. My friend, please. You must listen to what Geralt has to say. Ah, oh, shit. Is not her real name. This is Siana, and Siana is sister to Anna Henrietta, the Duchess of Toussaint. What? What nonsense is this? Siana was banished as a child, but it seems she trekked back here recently, moved into Duntine, and ran a Vandergild out of here. Sent a man called the Centrian to Beauclair to steal some wine for her, wine reserved for the ducal family. Cintrian led us to her. Oh shit, yo, Darth Father, thank you for the 200 bits. A jewel Sian had gotten from her father as a child. <sighs> Sorry, Deadlaff. She used you. Part of her plan. Oh, this is fucked. Wow, she's terrible. She's a terrible he human being. Off. He did not wish to act rashly. He's gone to soothe his nerves. Think he'll do it? Make good on his threat? I cannot say. He can be unpredictable when fury consumes him. I shall go to him. Come again? After what he just... You don't know Detlaf like I do. If I don't do as he says, he truly will destroy the city. He's more than capable of it. Yeah, why is now your conscience? Conscience gets to you now. Better... Uh, better late than never, right? Well, it truly does seem the best option. Your Grace, we must proceed with caution. Guardsmen saw vampires here. They could still be about. Vampires or no vampires, my sister is here. Find her. Your grace, that... Sianna, it's true. It's you. Sister, dear, what have you gotten yourself into? So concerned, I'm surprised. Is there an ounce of truth to it? You... You feel resentment. I understand. But I promise. Promise we shall work through all the unfortunate matters of the past. We will discuss them later. Captain, escort Siana to the palace. I shall meet with her as soon as we return. As you wish, Your Grace. Yeah, she's about to learn and the hard you, way. Witcher, you have my thanks. I cannot believe my sister was so near the whole time. Roderick of Duntine shall answer for treason and blackmail. Mm. 
Nope. Roderick got duped and used, just like the vampire. Apropos, were you able to establish who kidnapped his beloved? We've discovered Siana blackmailed the vampire, ordered him to kill those men. What? What nonsense is this? She is his missing lover, staged her own abduction to force him to do her bidding. He was a tool. The whole scheme was Siana's. She was behind it. You're mistaken. You must be. This cannot be true. Your Grace, I know this vampire and... What? You know him? Who is he? Detmarf. The same who so recently sat at my table and told me of Nazar. Mm-hmm. The very same. Is there anything else you've neglected to mention? A dragon living beneath Mount Gorgon, perhaps? Is anyone else here a vampire? Me. Where is he now? Waiting for Siana. If she doesn't show up to meet him by an appointed time, he'll destroy Beauclair. He dares threaten us? Your Grace, we have three days to bring him Siana and... Not a word. You can't you protect your sister. Three days. To bring me his head. No more secrets. No more helping vampires. No, no. You can't use the head of the beast. No. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. You can't protect your sister when she's the reason those people are dead in the first place. Do you think her grace's nerves have been calmed? Doubt it. Rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially nope. not threats. Yes, well, even I must admit Dead Love's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Are you upset? Why would I be? Think of the coin? I don't give a hmm, fuck about the coin. You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. Upset's just not a sensation I feel, ever. Mutations, remember. Mm, yes, of course. The excuse you resort to <laughs> whenever you'd rather not talk about something. Observant of you, so let's change the subject. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? Uh, it depends. Peasants cuss me out. Merchants demand I refund their deposit, whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. And rumors? Usually threaten me with the gallows. Her most illustrious grace awaits the gentleman. The gentleman shall look presentable for his majesty, the imperial emperor. Grace, the population demands she be punished. Siona's committed terrible crimes, spilt so much blood. They... Another word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even you more You can't blood. protect your sister. Yours. She committed a crime. I repeat for the last time, Siona is responsible for the death of many. True. But she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison. Pitchforks on torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but my patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? I don't know. Don't know. I lost his trail. Is this all you have to say? I respect your grace. All I can say is the truth. Ah. At times I hunt foxes. Do you know how it works? The Ducal Huntsman releases the hounds. They catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the Bachu to it. All within an hour. You, Witcher, have had a week. The aid of my most excellent knights. Yet, you have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job.
Yeah. I'll be a smart ass. to point out certain subtle but essential differences between a higher vampire and a fox, or game in general. <gasps> Truly. Like the ones between a pathetic quip and a treasonous offense. Watch your words, Witcher. But to the matter at hand. Have you managed to establish anything? Your Grace, it seems Siana tricked Detlaf, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... Your Grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! Vampires! They protect the city! Kept the Nalator defense to square near the boat landing, but so many lives lost. Damn it. There won't be a Tucson left if you don't give up your sister. If it's war this Detlef wants, it's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer and you... <gasps> Yes, Bruxa, Jesus Christ. Hold on. I did hard to stun already. One, let's go. Siona failed to appear as summoned. And there. Detloff is not making a face. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detloff out. A way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I put it? Do forgive me. I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis, another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detloff out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detloff's demand and liberate his beloved Siona. Think Detloff still believes Siona's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. And he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. <laughs> you think? Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Dedloff? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Dedloff is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Mm. 
So say I agree to this, because I might. Still no chance on a Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. A meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour, ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme that... Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. Alright, well. Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog. Keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see. I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. I trust I've dispelled your doubts, then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. How would I go about luring Detloff out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? <laughs> you see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen, ancient and powerful vampires. Among the oldest and strongest. Mm -hmm. And? Tusa is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detloff will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is a... Yeah, figured it out. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the unseen elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. All right. <sighs> So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer, or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis, don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf, who will you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? Um, honestly, I kind of need to think about this, but I think I'm going to try to free her because the thing is, like, I don't think anybody needs to die, but I think justice needs to be served. I think that Sienna is obviously the conspirator behind this whole thing, and she needs to answer for her crimes. Crazy as the plan seems, I'll do it. I'll ask Damien about Siana. You won't make me beg. I knew you wouldn't. Slow down. Not promising a thing. Just want to get a feel for the situation to start with. Coming with? Of course. Many hands make light work. All right. Hurry. Damien could be in danger. Or dead. You think so? He's seen battle hardened, more than a few straps under his belt. Against humans, not monsters. <laughs> we must put him down before he kills him.
himself didn't kill him. Bled to death afterwards. If we only arrived a bit early. Another one. Damn it. Brook formation. Ran. That's it. It's Damien's blood. He was wounded. Let's go. Eric, you put up in the street. Pointless. That's an obstacle to a vampire. They didn't know. I didn't get a chance to prepare them. <laughs> to slaughtering you as well. Need to withdraw, you and your men, now. My duty lies with the city. Won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter. Damien, conversation back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again, your men don't stand a chance. to the wounded and prepare to march out doing the right thing now listen close silver that's what you want to use against vampires your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can churn it out in gallons and then coat your blades with it keep an eye out for alps and bruxe the shapely ones resemble women they're one moment gone the next bombs containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. Got a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Sianna. You know the Duchess's decision. Sianna awaits her trial, in custody. We know it. But we do not agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Folk are dying. Many more will, because of one. If her grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. And ours will follow right after it. Yet still we are prepared to take the risk. I fear we waste our time here. Come, Geralt. Wait. When... When last I saw Sianna, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? Be sure. I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? So what, Duchess locked Sianna up in a dollhouse? The Honestly, fuck? I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. All right. And you've our gratitude. You helped us a great deal. 
I helped Beauclair. At least I hope I did. Let's go. Let's go, Regis. Should look around at least. Something inside? Nope. Empty. I know this is for like <coughs> the other part of this quest, but I wonder if there's experience. Oh, never mind. Miniature tableware and flesh toys. Mind. This is for the cute. Well, well, a key tucked behind a picture. of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leaving through. Welcome them. to the family, son. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Yo, Ryuma, thank you for the prime sub, buddy. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly, girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Donna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Honorietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Honorietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Damn. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Rockfall wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudularis, for instance, or... Shh. Don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here, a specialist in illusions, which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting <laughs> or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but his grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm, curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt then that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. 
or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Bluda is damned, or cursed. What's Cusa? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many-petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. Uh -huh. All right, well. Mm. Realize this might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there, and isolated. We must see. Where's that book? I think we found it. Huh. Is it? Let's see. Very tightly bound. <laughs> Expecto ludum. Fables. Incredible. Hmm. Let's see where this road takes me. Follow the yellow brick road. Okay. I don't know how in these going wild. Whole land's an illusion. It's so powerful, there's no way to dispel it. This is so weird. How did we go from like chasing down a fucking vampire to like now we're in... We're sure as shit not in Kansas anymore, let me just say that, alright? Off my heart, dearie. You 
you find me to get cross. Then you open it. Now, who's this? A lost traveler? I'm not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. And you'll make a tasty morsel. I'm not trying to be anybody's morsel. Okay. Is she one of the crones? No. No, this is a completely different story. <laughs> Just in case, I'll take an Oriole as well. Oh, what the Pixies, f watch out, Pixies. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, I don't understand. Gotta be an imp or something that I missed.
There's no way this is right. Something's like fucked up on my... Like I don't have... I don't have proper control of my character. Like there's an invisible wall here that's like preventing me from getting back down. I'm sure this is bugged. This is totally bugged. There's no fucking way. I'm like outside of the... There's no way that that's right. I'm sure, well, I, no, I don't think I can enter the tower. I think that's what's supposed to happen after I kill her. Dude, what the fuck is happening with my game, man? Let me just restart my game. Something's fucked up. Something's all kinds of fucked up. Damn it, man. Dude. I gotta stand further back. What the fuck?
got mad and fucking threw her thing. I broke the broom. That's right. That's right. What? What the hell was that? The wicked witch. You've heard of her, haven't you? Now, where did you put that key? Listen, I. How do you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. <coughs> Thank you. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not. Uh, is that that kid that was shining Anna? shoes? Is that you? It's been years, Jack. H have you come to play? No, I just want your beans. Oh, never so mind. So you can breathe easy. Never mind. <gasps> breathe easy? Because you aren't here to play? What's that about? Jack knows what I mean. So he'll tell me where the beans are as fast as he can. Isn't that right? Sian, I... I'm sorry, but but I haven't got them. Oh, something tells me you're lying. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all. Hmm. This little picky went to market. This little picky went home. For instance, I'm telling the truth. I swear it, Anarietta. She ordered them buried all over, so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. But, but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves, he should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know, because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now, shoo. Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? came to free you. Nice of you, but a waste of your effort. I plan to free myself. You might, you might not. Bound to be easier with my help, as our most recent adventure amply showed. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yet I still don't know why you even give a damn. It's Deadlof. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Deadlof, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Deadloff, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you've come to beg my help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? Well, normally I'd tell you to sod off, but from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Deadloff was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. of the Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm-hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants. I'm certain you've heard of us. Even met one of you. Ran free of Craden. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny. Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. Since you brought it up, the knights Detloff killed. Yeah, what exactly ran for did you. they do to you? Crespi, Duloc, Aqua, Peyrek Perrin. Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me. They ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. 
Mm -hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And Ulaik had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. Before bothering to hear my side. Everyone does that. This place... Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Artorius Vigo. Artorius. Anna, Henrietta, and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you, you don't belong here. So you had best be on your watch. So what's with the beans? So, what's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm, certainly. But you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. As we shall do it, we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Huh. Stock won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. You lead. Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance. house to the right so what exactly is happening in the city bloodshed a massacre which is why we gotta hurry you needn't fret time flows differently in the fatal sphere we can stay here a week yet outside mere minutes will have passed good i guess watch out pixies <laughs> Yeah, this is what happened. I got like knocked out of bounds. Not the friendliest pixies I've met. We were put here to protect the Fable Sphere from intruders. We need you. Oh, unicorns! We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one. Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Roach. Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. Uh. Care to elaborate? Rather not. Get him. Relax, it's over. No, it's not. There's more. Another wolf behind you. Ignore him. He always lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. 
Still does, I suppose. And doesn't, when they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything! Not one thing! And besides, watch out! Wolves! This'll be interesting. Right, let's get to it. Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the Red Bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Wolves! Run! Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe? Not at all? Right? <laughs> I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody! Three times over! Help! Wolves! Yellow bean. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? Hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time, and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? Uh. All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Or more precisely, reverses the truth. Mm -hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each. And Goldilocks, of course. Then Long Locks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah, fine. Let's get to work. Yeah, let's get to work. Oh, look! The Emperor of Nilfgaard. He's come out to show off his new robe. Incredible. He must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cast uh -huh. of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once. That sort of thing. Stole the pee out from under the princess. Who sleeps to this day, I think. Fistech? What the fuck? What tail are you from? Sold to Flint's when I was a lass. But no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, parts, oh, and God. fun things. What'll you have, sweeties? Magic beans. Do you have any? If it's not the new name of some kicker I already have, dears, then no. But maybe you'd like some. Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find his keepers, sweetheart. The ribbon. Mind explaining what the fuss is about? There's not much to explain. I got it from Aturius Vigo when I was a child. It was to protect me from evil. It clearly didn't work, given how I ended up. But it means a lot to you. How should I put this? I have so few mementos from my childhood. And the Ripon reminds me of the good old days, when I was someone else. Dears, could you continue this touching scene elsewhere, hmm? You're scaring away my customers. Give Sienna the Ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar Plum. The only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a second, of course. For all else, you've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? 
ask me nicely and I might play you for it. A round of cards? Shit. What have you got to say? Like I said, tobacco, fist tech, all sorts of Yeah, fist tech. Have a look. Get your hopes up. None can best me at Gwent. Got to find out. Clach on crit. some ideas. And I guess technically I've still got a lead. Had a lead. <laughs> Got the dub, but barely.
Yeah, that's right. Hand over the ribbon. Rumpel, you're good at this. A word once given. The ribbon's yours. Now skedaddle. Tell me. What? What you want in return. I'm not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Don't want anything in return. I... Hmm. Thank you. Alright. There's a thing here. Hold on. Concern yourself with that. <laughs> a true witcher should never abandon poultry in distress. That's right. Better believe it. This long locks tower. Indeed. It's even taller than I remember. Wait. What John said about the remember? In the possession of a This one. Let's go. Sounds. You know the story, don't you? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Looks like Big Bad's already blown down the houses of straw and sticks. Brick's the only one left. We should look inside. Remember Joss's words? Mm -hmm. One bean lies out in the open, guarded by three nobodies. Yeah, that could be it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem to be at home. A feather. Broken. There was a fight. Goose feathers. Must have been flapping its wings. Watch out! Pixies! Just get lucky. <laughs> Trees. Some kind of camp. This house has got an X as well. Everything hits like super fucking hard here. Cause like humanoid stuff you have to kill with silver because they're technically like illusions. a golden egg for you. <laughs> <laughs> if only all my employers were that generous. Would have preferred a magic bean, but not about to complain. I had 200 experience. I'll fucking take it. Did you really travel all the way here for a corner? Nature of the job. I don't believe it. You must have had another reason. Mm. Well, spent a few idyllic months in Beauclair some time past. Part of me wanted to come back. Visit to Saint once and you'll always long to return. Did you like Anna Henrietta? Do you jest? I adored her. 
my darling little sis. So adorable. So sweet. Yet when they banished me from the palace, she didn't so much as peek out of the window. She might not have known. Maybe just couldn't. Hello? Can we talk? Shmumbach, my head! Damn it all! I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Siana. A bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, uh -huh. big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. Yeah. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. But, 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 what brings you? Have a drink with us? Nah. Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? Mm, I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats. Siana to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, little red riding hoods Polter clogs. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks, and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp <laughs> all her loving labor. Good <laughs> now, what's at the bottom of the well? She and the hunter, which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you, not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. Sheesh. Wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. It's a dog's life, I tell you. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. A piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. <laughs> That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. Uh oh. All right. Time to jump in the well. Break a leg. Dump out to the river or something. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect this area to take so long. It's like a super long quest. Any luck? Yep. Look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Dashing. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. All right, we're gonna go play. You again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. Not a problem. Siana can take her place. What? Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Granddaughter, <laughs> come closer, sweetie. But grandmama, oh my God! What big eyes you have. The better to see you, is my dear. Granny, what big arms you 
Oh, so sweet. I wanted to embarrass you with my dear. And Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Eh? I wanted to eat you with my dear. What now, you piece of filth? Joss said about the red bee. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. Ah, here it is. <laughs> red bean. A corkscrew. One bean down, two to go. Well then, one step closer to our goal. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? Fire away. Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They'd escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Tucson, I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark, from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me. Or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader. Of the whole ragged band. Should have stayed there, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps I should have forgotten everything. Started a new life. But you know what? There came a point when I thought... You wanted a monster, then a monster you shall get. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. Yes, two more beans. Three bears. Three stools, three beds, three bowls. One a bit too big, the other too small. A third just right. Faster! Come on, you... You... Know what? They need names. I'll call mine... Hmm... Anis. Call mine Roach. Roach? Are you serious? Huh? Ugh. Blonde curls. Best if the body's too mutilated. Hard to say anything. 
Oh, Papa Bear, he's not happy, dude. He ain't fucking happy, bro. Reckon Goldilocks didn't fare too well, eh? Hey there. Ugly bastard. Ugly bastard. Not to be trusted. It always grapple up her braid in the past, but I don't see it anywhere. We'll find another way up. the bean right here the big bad witcher huffed and puffed and look got a bean it can't <laughs> be what cannot be you actually have a sense of humor yeah i mean sort of stunted a bit but yeah it's there well well aren't you full of surprises what else are you hiding behind that gruff exterior? A rock and bod. Singer. I'm just kidding. A pretty mean rendition of the maids of Vicovaro, for instance. But some other time, maybe. But here we are chatting away when there's work to do. We must keep looking. Indeed, we must. Only one bean to go. So, you like it here? No, got a problem with magic in general. Illusions, portals, all that. Don't trust any of it. A bow of old-fashioned tastes, eh? I like that. We got 
talk to Long Locks. Could pull myself up here, and I'll have to make that jump. If you say so, I shall wait down here if it's all the same. Climbing's not my strong suit. Prince's corpse. Tried to free Long Locks, but fell and broke his neck. She turned into a fucking grave. I see the bean there, but I just want to make sure I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Got a bean. Here it is. What a stump to climb all that way for nothing. Nice jump. So? Got the bean, but long locks. Mm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these <laughs> days, dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Dead laugh was a tool, and only a tool. Too bad he didn't know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. To use him. Was that your plan from the start? No. At first I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some route off to a fence I knew. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Deadlock. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick, and gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance, but he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley, I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? A higher vampire and you were unimpressed? Don't know if that's brave or just plain foolish. I've always had a way with ostensibly dangerous, quiet types. That's supposed to be about me too? Oh, 
but I hate to disappoint you, Geralt, but your belly button is <laughs> at the center of the known world. Though, you do remind me of it a bit, stifling all emotions inside you, ever feigning indifference. You see, when I met Detlath, I... Somehow I knew, call it intuition, that he meant me no harm, that he was trying to frighten me off, for he too was scared. Now do you understand? I guess. I guess. What happened then? We talked, then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. I truly enjoyed it at first. But only at first. He did not love like a man, but like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally, wildly. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard pressed, let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared? Yes. There was no other way. Let's just be friends, or I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him, and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned, or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Got a history with Detloff now. So this meeting will be different. Not afraid? I can handle it. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. Fecking. Now we must plant them by the path near Longlock's tower. Then we're prepared to meet the giant. Level 52. Yeah, we're, we're, we are cruising. Goodness, man, they're everywhere. Right, this is the spot. Pull out the beans. Wait. Why? The stalk will sprout abruptly. Very abruptly. We must be careful. All right. Toss them. I'm going to get fucking blasted. Uh, something's always got to go wrong. Yep. No. 
the home stretch. Do not want to fall down. Incredible. Admire the view later. First, we must deal with the giant. Him. The five old bomb. I'm just going to assume he's an ogroid. thinking you might have done that on purpose why ever would I have to get rid of your guard your captor getting close to the exit at this point probably think you don't need me anymore well you're wrong you still stand to be quite useful to me that's so how plan to use me like you did Detloff? No, I need you for a purpose far simpler. Well, don't just stand there and stare. I need a man, Geralt, and I'm not afraid to say it. I have no idea what uh -oh. awaits me once we leave this place. Treat it as my last wish. Have her way with me? I mean, alright. Here's what I'm thinking. We're in a fairy tale land. This isn't real. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. It's not real. <laughs> Yennefer won't find out. It happened in a fairy tale land, okay? Yeah, see? It's not real. <laughs> oh, gosh. It can't possibly be real, guys. We're floating. Look, that's not realistic. Some of these, uh, some of these camera angles are a little ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was funny, though, when 
when Yennefer, when, when I when I did it with Yennefer at Karamora and how it just like flashed over <laughs> to a thing of like a wolf chasing a deer. <laughs> that was some funny shit. Guys, it's not real. It's happening in fairy tale land. It's not real. Just gonna go our separate ways. No parting words. Did you wish to tell me something? Actually, that'd probably be best. Oh my. No woman's ever treated you this way. Not that I recall, no. In that case, at last you felt what so many women in this world feel at times. a happy ending for me for you for everyone that may very well depend on you what's that supposed to mean nothing beyond what you heard for now come the exit's this way <laughs> all right guys don't make it weird don't make it weird we're gaming we're doing nothing else all right want the heart of Toussaint and the ducal wine. They were my right, my due. Doubt we would have figured you out if you hadn't tried to get them. Know that, don't you? I do. I regret nothing. One lives but once. Here, we need but jump into the well. You first. The well? No, 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 no. I've had my, I've had more than enough wells jumping this playthrough, okay? More than enough. Jesus Christ. Portals in a fountain? Not terribly practical. It was a secret passage. Anariette and I would use it to hide from your governess, which luckily she noted down in her diary. Thus, I knew where to await you. Never mind that. Has the young lady agreed to help clean up the mess she's made? She has. And stop treating me as if I were a child. Would you prefer I treated you like the lying, manipulating you, Earl? Ooh! Sianna, you've already run afoul of one vampire. Don't start a fight with another, all right? Then tell said other vampire to stop taunting me. I shall do my utmost. Let's go. Really want to be done with this. Yeah, I want to be done with this shit. place isn't it offers a lovely view of the valley on a clear day you can see the outlines of dun time is it though a ruin like any other i think uh so sensitive so aware honestly what did decla ever see in you perhaps he'll tell you himself You nervous? Mm-hmm. It's always a bit nerve-wracking meeting an ex. Nah. Especially so when set ex is a vampire. I doubt he'll be in the mood for Fair. jests. I know. Oh, may I be honest? Yes. I'm nervous. I really would prefer just to run off. 
I gave my word I would help, I know. But how much is that worth? Yet I owe him this meeting. And that is that. Alright, well here he comes. Let's get ready. Dedloff will be here any moment now. Siana, Siana, I have a question I must ask you. Did you truly feign it all? That which bound us was a ruse. Dead love. It's not that simple. I... Oh no, it's very simple. You either deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. What? But how? What? The ribbon? Ha! Seems I've been fooled again. She will pay for this sooner or later! She will pay! Never should have met old butcher! Oh! Shit! Time to actually fight him now. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> 
this for a fucking boss fight. Holy shit. I might have gone a little overboard on the toxicity threshold. Nice place, isn't it? Is it? Uh, Perhaps. I want you to You try What 
the fuck? What the fuck is that? He's got to be the one to finish him. Only another vampire can kill him. Leave him to me. Be gone. I can't let him. I insist. Even him naked, dude. Let's go. God damn, that was a fight. Holy shit. Ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I look like a twit. <laughs> the caftan is some of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. usually wear something different, better suited to my trade. Got nothing against this particular outfit, though. Just don't exactly feel comfortable in it. And I despise formal occasions. <laughs> <laughs> nothing one can't get accustomed to. Now, be so kind as to stand still. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. 
The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Okay. Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else, which calls for lordly, glistening triviality and misplaced generosity. <laughs> Sound wistful, pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit? Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. <laughs> Besides, I've no need for a new outfit as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why not? Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience. Count on it. Hmm. Ceremonies, medals honoring virtues, just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues <laughs> theory? After all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victim's names to deck, love. Perhaps we missed something. Yeah, how do you Regis, know that? Boot Black didn't say anything about making deliveries when we talked to him. How do you know he handled the letters? While you basked in glory and tried on new formal wear, <laughs> I conducted a little investigation of my own. You'd be very proud to see how I conducted myself. I began by concocting an ample supply of boot wash for our enterprising young friend. I'd observed that among street folk, amidst their society as a whole, reciprocity takes precedence over all other codes, and thus no good deed goes unrewarded. Of course, the same holds true for malicious or destructive deeds. The letters. What's the connection? When the boot black arrived to collect his bucketful, he hinted he knew more. Simply put, we'd failed to ask the proper questions when we chatted earlier. It took a bit more tongue loosening, but ultimately he spoke. He admitted he'd handed Declaff the letters. He knew this information was valuable to me. In providing it, he was simply repaying me. Hmm. All in all, why not check up on that? We'll go together, assuming we're done here. I am done, yes. It lies in your hands now to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. Or if you will first destroy it, crawling about the city's underbelly. Promise to be careful. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm going to probably end up with blood on it by the ceremony. <laughs> oh, it's the swordsman. Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up. Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on, then. I'm a proponent of free speech, and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the soles that wear them. Clean boots, clean soles. A fine slogan. Yeah. How's business? How's business? Well enough, I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. Huh? Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. 
I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beggars brought them. Beggars? <clears throat> Why didn't you tell us this before, when we first talked? You didn't ask about beggars now, did you? True. <laughs> beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. It was different. Some had mismatched boots, others had no boots at all. Oh, I know. They all had no home. Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Where'd they get the letters? They picked them up, get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those Welcome stairs, to the family, then son. right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. Yo, Riser Rivali, thank you for the brand the new Look Prime sub. I gotta be careful I don't ruin my doublet. You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these <laughs> flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. Yeah, what's the harm in them living here? The shelter, them living here, bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballard. Another defender of the poor, fighter for justice. Damn nuisance. We for our women and young folk living next door, when even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. Decent folk you mention, mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hell yes. He poking insults us on our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. I'll break your guns around your spine. I almost know my guns. Man, I'm gonna get my doublet dirty, bud. This is like probably my worst fist fight ever. Come on, come closer. All right. I can take a hint. Come, <laughs> time to go. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk. The shelter elsewhere. 
They dislike that I have. Yo, grats on the Zwat Riser. Grats. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to eat you. What is this place? Poor house? You could call it that. They come here to rest and eat a hot meal. A hot meal? You help them, why? Because they need help. That's fair. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Girl. The boot black? A feisty lad. <laughs> I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait, they'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Sure all your usual beggars will be here? They're not obliged to come, of course. But they rarely find a decent meal elsewhere. I love how, like, so, the city the carries area. on the next day as if vampires didn't just fucking raid the city. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve this soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. <clears throat> Pay attention. Answer in brief. Oh, did it say a couple if weeks past? Out, your soup will go cold. I wasn't paying that much attention. I've also been fucking streaming for 24 Recently, hours, so. Four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeal? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me. In a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work for me. Thank you. Who else? I got the one too. Uh, gave it to the boot black. Freshy, he got one. But he can't tell you as he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the feast of St. Barnabas. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said, and she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. <laughs> Damn it. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. The Duchess, I bet. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. This time, you will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtues their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one. 
leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions. Ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Sienna murder her own sister? I feel like this is just going to keep going. To take power <laughs> from an inborn penchant for evil? Yes, yes, and yes. All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask him yourself. Think it's a good idea? After all, we foiled her carefully planned scheme. Think she'll even want to? Talk to you? Would it harm you in any way to try? Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Coming with? Coming with? Of course not. I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions rampage. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical huh. statements of that kind. But I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. She treated Detlaf cruelly, caused his death in the end, and now this? Top all that? No, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. Beauclair. I see about a way in. Down the stairs, for starters. See Siana urgently. In the matter of? Need to interrogate her. New facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seems she was planning your Duquesse's assassination. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you've my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. Yep, 24 hours. The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Have you come to see how I fare? I'm fine, thank you. Artorius's ribbon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from me. I for... know who the fifth victim was supposed to be. Unless you're simply a compulsive snoop. I'm in prison. Deadlock is dead. Could you not just drop it? Sienna, stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. 
Why do you want to kill her? For such an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious? Come now, Geralt. Why do you think? How should I know? Might really be the curse of the Black Sun. Word is, cursed princesses often kill their own families. I see I misjudged you. You understand nothing. Well, what now? Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. If she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She oughta know. If only cause you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you out. Mm-hmm. I probably will. At least you're being honest, finally. <laughs> Lying only ever makes sense when there's a chance someone will believe you. It's actually refreshing, in a way, to say what I truly think. So why don't I do it a bit more? Please? I was only ever nice to you to get you to sleep with me. I thought you might come in handy one day. Your comrade Regis is using you, and Anna Henrietta perceives you solely as her unthinking, blunt instrument. She's right to, you know. I like this game. As long as we're being honest, here I go. You're a pathetic, self-centered snake. Should I go on? You'll rot in this tower. You'll die of old age, embittered, alone and forgotten. By everyone. <coughs> Have a nice life, Siana. Shit. Oh, we got her mad. Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Yeah. Let's go. Wanna see him too. Damien. Geralt, it's about time. Ready for the ceremony. Got some important information. Anna Henrietta was supposed to be Detloff and Siana's fifth victim. You are certain of this? Completely. Found proof. Inconceivable. How could she? The murders, the mayhem she brought down on the city, were they not enough? She sought to strike down her own sister, her liege, traitor. I must alert my men. Enlarge the Duchess's honor guard. Make certain Sylvia Anna is closely watched during the questioning. I'll see to it personally. I thank you, Witcher, for alerting me. And I appreciate your attentiveness. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. The Duchess. In the guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, 
This duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, Slayer of the Beast of Beauclair, step forth. <laughs> yeah, I got we my, my double it all dirty. Upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a 5k, that's of it? Bullshit! A, a million crowns! The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? I am, and truly grateful, Your Grace. Sadly, I'm afraid I have to sour the mood. It's Sienna. She plotted to have you killed, Duchess. Planned to use Dedloff. You were to be the Beast's fifth victim. This cannot be true. You're mistaken. You must be. I have proof. I do not believe it. In a moment, Shit. I will speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet what you tell me now, I find devastating. I've come to doubt that I can judge her fairly. I'd far prefer to learn your mistake, Geralt. I'm not. In fact, I'd recommend you be particularly careful around her. You exaggerate, Witcher. She is my sister. I know well how to speak to her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. Oh boy, here we go. The Witcher will take part in our talk. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Nor does it let me believe you sought my demise. My heart yearns to know you were swayed by the monster Detlaf. You yourself would never stoop so low. Thus, I have asked Geralt to advise me, as one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. Um. I mean, she shouldn't get priority just because she's in the royal line she should be punished like any criminal no matter the mitigating circumstances whatever they may be Siana is a criminal and should be tried as such and punished as such her guilt is clear 
Your words sadden me greatly, Witcher. But I cannot deny their logic. Sianna, you shall be tried and given a fitting punishment. Yet we shall never cease to be family. As Duchess, I shall have to judge you. But as your sister, I shall never stop loving you. Will you forgive me? I shall never forgive you. Yeah, I fucking saw that coming. Duchess was fucking stupid. Why would you do that? another two weeks <laughs> god damn I got, I'm pretty sure I got bad ending again <laughs> <laughs> yeah I did I got serious bad ending should come as no shock, sir. Had the funeral, folk took it all. Men, women, children, all wished to lay a bouquet on the Duchess's grave. Wind flowers, peonies, gladioli. But she liked common roses best. I know, her ladies in waiting would come here at times. I'd choose the loveliest blooms for her. Fragrant. Big petals, the kind that last a long time. Ah, I've still not come to terms with it. To be killed by her own sister. How could it happen? Anna Henrietta wanted to believe there was still hope for Sianna, that she'd show remorse. She reached a hand out to her. Too soon. Too trusting. Oh, I know you. You're that witcher from the north. The one that saved us from the beast. Mm -hmm. Could say that. Wait here. I take these. Thought you were out of flowers. I put a bouquet aside. I was to take it to her myself. But you have it. I know you held the Duchess, dear. How much do I owe you? Not a copper. Keep your coin and raise a toast in her memory tonight. Do just that. Farewell. God damn, dude. This was not the ending I expected. I really wanted to keep them both alive. I would think that it's possible to have an ending where they were both the vampire and... Uh, and the Duchess live. Witcher, I was certain you'd departed. Couldn't. Anna Henrietta was... Wondrous. 
Beautiful. Good. The best ruler one could hope to have. Yet I let her down. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one expected Siana to do that, persist to the end. And none of us did anything to stop her. Because there was nothing we could do. Uh, I suppose you are right. But when someone so beloved dies, one cannot help but search one's soul for blame. And even the hardiest knights grow faint-hearted then. Come to pay my respects. Bid the Duchess farewell. White roses. They were her favorite. Go inside then. She lies in the ducal crypt. In one room with her murderer. Despite my protests. What? Who decided that? The Regent's Council. A pack of old men who've statutes and codices for hearts. Ducal blood flowed in Siana's veins, and she was never legally disinherited. So they ruled she should lie alongside Anarieta. Well, oh, shit. Sometime later, sometime later, two weeks later, three hours later, sometime later. Both graves? No. I regret it ended this way, that I failed to prevent it. Hope you can forgive me. Rest in peace. Stylish crypt, quite subdued. Yes, this is the kind of eternal resting place I dream of. Moments like this, I never know if you're joking or serious. Serious, Geralt, serious. It's remarkably peaceful, subtly charming to the hilt. A perfect match for the Duchess's dignity. Ah, you humans, you'll never cease to amaze me. To feel despair in the face of natural processes to which you are predestined. I've come to take you from this place, my friend. Dare say you deserve a speck of respite after the mad whirl of the last few days. Okay. All those deaths I failed to prevent. Feel pretty awful right about now. Can't help thinking I could have done more. Now Toussaint is left without a ruler. Or more accurately, chaos rules here. Hand in hand with despair. Duchess won over people's hearts. All Beauclair now weeps for her. A mass outburst of emotion. Well, it seems her subjects have adopted some of their recent ruler's traits. Why the sarcasm? Thought you liked Donna Henrietta. I did. And I do truly rule her passing. Me too. Then let us drink. Always seemed to me you were a very complicated creature by nature. Not one to resort to such simple methods like <laughs> drinking your worries away. There exist worries for which they're quite simply. It's no other medicine. Whatever you say about Siona, you gotta admit, she was unbending. That she was. I do admit it. Though, in her case, it would have been better if she had been a tad more mm, philosophical pausing from time to time to reflect on the propriety of her actions true how do you find my personal brew not too strong just right credit the local mandrake of the alrauna diabolus variety for that 
The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? You decide to go root picking now? It's dark out. Ah, oh, Geralt. Even were I generously to assume it had simply slipped your mind that I'm a vampire and thus need <laughs> your light to see, I'd never believe you had also forgotten that you likewise have absolutely no trouble seeing in the dark. So, shall we? Ah, oh, fine. If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This is such a long ending. <laughs> uh, chat's like, ending? You're only like halfway through the quest, dude. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. Penny for your thoughts. Let me guess. Succubus twins? No, I was thinking about oh how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? Sucker go. Won't be easy to track down. He's a vampire after all. Regis. Damn it, where'd you go? Say, they called you a traitor. Alas, we've a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we've another rule. An unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying, out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Tucson. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Oh, let us make for my camp. I've an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Mmm. Supreme bouquet. Firm. Defined beginning, then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you in your new home, on the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? <laughs> <sighs> a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? I don't know yet. Uh, don't really know yet. Might find the life of a hard-working vintner too tempting one day. 
Or maybe I'll just stick to the path, go on roaming, staring up at the stars after laying my bedroll at the roadside. Ah, roadsides, bedrolls, and the sky above. I sense some poetry coming on, which of course brings to mind Dandelion. I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? We just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. That first stain, Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, the cellar's too small to accommodate <laughs> all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances, like Mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might let you so. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. I so don't feel like going anywhere. GG. Sit here a while longer. So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do. Ah, the break in the fourth wall at the end? Okay. He's like, yo, Hayes, take a fucking break from this game, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking awesome game, guys. Holy shit. So that's officially completing the main quest in both expansions. Um, I'll probably do another playthrough when the patch comes out. Uh, but wow, like I just, I secretly wish that this game just went on forever. Like, how many hours have I racked up? It took me 163 hours. You know what's crazy? I thought it was going to take me 100. But I played way too much Gwent. <laughs> Three 24 hour streams. And a lot of 16 hour streams. I've never done this many 24 hour streams in such a short period of time. And honestly, like, I, I want to talk about some stuff because, like, obviously we're going to be moving on to a different game. Um, but I was supposed to be doing my semi annual subathon. Um, which that was supposed to happen this weekend, but I don't think I'm going to do it this weekend. I think I might push it back a couple weeks because I just, I feel like I just haven't planned it at all. I've been trying to work on some stuff, but it just hasn't really like come together in the way that I really have wanted it to. Uh, a lot of sponsors that I've wanted to try to pull together haven't come through. Honestly, like communication is just something that's like been lacking. Um, and I don't want to like sound 
super negative because I'm actually just like in a super good mood considering how great this game was. Um, Pone is saying I'm not done yet. I don't know what that means. There must be a couple of follow-up quests after the credits here, but... Um, but, I mean, we've obviously finished the main quest. So, like, this is more or less like the conclusion of the content as far as the bulk of it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, it was an awesome game, guys. Like, holy shit. This, this is probably, like... I'm just trying to think, like, in the last 10 years... I don't know that I can think of a game, maybe outside of RE2 Remake, that I've just, like, truly loved. Like, I legit could not stay away from this game. Like, what an incredible game. Like, I can, I can understand why people... Oh, I, I, so let me, let me just say this. I could understand it better if I actually played Cyberpunk, but I could understand why people had such high expectations for Cyberpunk. Having, like, played this game. And anybody that's played this game should have expected exactly what this was out of Cyberpunk. Especially considering how long the development cycle was on Cyberpunk. But, like, all I can say is just, wow. Like, this is a game that I would love to just play all the time. I can't. But it, it's th this is, like, my kind of game. Just, like, a, a game that I can just, like, get lost in. And I think, honestly, with the right formula... I think with the right formula where, like, there was better potential to grow my stream, I would fucking live on a game like this. I'm not even kidding. Unfortunately, like, despite the fact that this game is badass, um, I don't think that it's, like, a game that... I don't think it's a game that would do well for my stream long term, which is why I wanted to, like, I wanted to get through it quickly... But, like, I'll tell you what, I got through it quickly, but I fucking enjoyed this game. I got through this game in, like, nine days. Something like that. Maybe it was more than nine days. I don't know. It was, like, towards the end of January, but we've been working on it for a while. Like, just an absolutely incredible game. Like, I, I, and I know it sounds like I'm not that excited. Believe me, I am. I'm also, like, I've been up for way too fucking long. But, yeah, like, I wish I was a streamer, and I wish, I mean, I am a streamer. But what I mean to say is, like, I wish I was a streamer when this game came out. Because I would have spent, I would have put a lot of time into this game when it was hot. Like, back when it had a lot more, like, growth potential, I would have put... I'll, I'd probably put a thousand hours in this game. Easily. Easily would have done a thousand hours in this game. Like, the biggest thing... Yo, I love Bach. Thank you for the hundred bits. I would easily play through this game... I would easily play th through this game ten or twenty times. No doubt. Like, fucking incredible. I loved the quests. I loved the story. I thought that the my biggest complaints, honestly, my biggest complaints are just, like, small stuff. I think that the movement on the horse is super janky. I think that the combat's actually super fun. Um, I, I think the combat is actually super fun, but 
I think that the combat could have been better, though. But, like, those are, like, my only two complaints. And, like, the combat was good. It, most of my issues with the combat actually have to do with, like, UI stuff. And... Enemy animations just not being, like, super diverse. I think if they had went the God of War route, they, it, this would have been probably a perfect game. It's just, like, such a good game. Like, I just, I, and, you know, you gotta give it, you know, credit for the fact that it's also a seven-year-old game. I don't like playing old games. I really don't. Yo, take it easy, Pwn. I, I really don't like playing old games. I feel like, I feel like it's always better for my own personal enjoyment as well as, like, for the, the good of my stream to play new games, stuff that trends, right? But like, I'm so glad I played this game. This game was worth every minute. And like, I know, I know that, I know that it probably was not the best decision to just like play a game where I knew the turnouts would not be as good as like Back for Blood and stuff like that, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. A, I needed a fucking break for Back for Blood because that game is fucking irritating at the moment. Um, but also because, like, this is a game that I've been wanting to play for so long. Years. I've wanted to play this game for probably five years. Like, I honestly, like, when it came out, it kind of, like, slipped through the cracks for me. Like, I was just in a busy spot in my life. I didn't have time for video games. And I was also really, like, I, I shouldn't say I didn't have time. I should say that I was only playing World of Warcraft and I, I didn't have time for anything else. Um... So the game just kind of slipped through the cracks. Like, this game came out... I want to say, like, right around the time that, like, the Legion expansion in World of Warcraft came out. It was, like, around that same time. So, like, I mean, when you think about it, like... No, it, was, it had to have been before that. Let me think. When did Legion come out? Legion came out in, like... 20... Twenty fifteen, twenty sixteen, maybe. Came out during Warlords of Scamming. Okay, so it was a little before that. I was, if it was twenty fifteen, I was like between jobs. I was, I had like had surgery, shit like that. Let's go home. I didn't make it to level 55 this playthrough, but it's okay. Saving it for a rainy day. I feel ya. I kind of saved. I kind of saved this game for a rainy month. <laughs> so to each their own, you know. That's how I did it. Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the best. It's probably Yen. Introducing themselves. It's probably Yennefer. It's probably Yennefer. She would totally barge in. Expected as ever. Guys, I'm so happy. <laughs> Shh. 
She, we're gonna we're gonna settle down together. And beautiful as ever. Won't you even ask why I've come, or how I found you? Wouldn't get a straight answer anyway. <laughs> Quite true. Used to bother me all your secrets. Now I know if you have something to tell me, you'll tell me. Don't need to ask. I missed you, Geralt. Madly. Come outside. We can hold hands and stare at the sky. Like some shitty two crown <laughs> I wonder if she admired my, uh, my Geralt painting. <laughs> Brought quite a few books. Let me guess. Working on a new spell? Not at all. These aren't grimoires, just pleasure reading. The name of the orchid. A widower for half a year. <laughs> Always thought you were too busy to make time for something as impractical as pleasure reading. Because I was. But now, I'm not. A few weeks ago, I awoke to the realization that I know not what to do next. I have no plan. I have no goal. And you know what? I like that. Finally, I can stop thinking about politics and focus on what's important to me. Which is why I came here. Hmm. Liking Tucson so far? Hmm. The landscape's lovely and the towns are charming, no question about that. But? But the southern sun plays havoc with my wardrobe. To be blunt, wear black down here and you're pretty damn hot. Hmm. Mm. Might need to think about changing your color palette. Off-white and pea-green, for instance. Hmm. <laughs> And I'll wear scents distilled from turnips and daisies. <laughs> I think I shall simply stay in the shade. And you'll bring me cool drinks. At regular intervals. Bring you whatever you want. You know, feels kind of strange having a home. Hmm, I must say I never pictured you owning real estate. <laughs> was something of an accident, but I'm not about to complain. Yen, back then, before we fought the hunt, said you wanted to run away with me to the world's end. This vineyard, good enough? Hmm, yes, although there's one thing missing. Namely? I shall give you a hint. It's large, white, the fucking As unicorn, lives, god damn it. Taxidermy. <laughs> oh yeah. The goddamn unicorn. unicorn. <laughs> Fine. You can bring it down here. I knew you'd see things my way. <laughs> Ever thought this day would come? Me and you, peace and quiet. Bees buzzing, birds chirping. I almost regret delaying so long before coming to you. I was quite the silly goose. You have doubts? Though I imagine it might have been hard coming after me. Always were proud as a peacock. Please, Geralt. I'm not like other sorceresses to feel that following someone means my wings have been clipped. Ooh, watch what you say about your colleagues. Remember, it's an ill bird that fouls its own nest. Well said, Witcher. You're not only handsome, but wise, too. <laughs> I feel a bit like the cat that got the canary. Yeah, and I'm... Mm, damn it. You <laughs> this time. Ha. How'd that start, anyway? Our duels and wordplay. Forgotten. It was out of vernissage in Bannard. You started it to keep from going mad with boredom. I remember finding your sense of humor both groan-worthy and somehow endearing. Never change, Geralt. I beg you. So, talk again later? Of course. I'm not going anywhere. I'm glad. We did it. 
I mean, there's still two stupid quests in here, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Can we talk? Always. Okay. So. Of course. I'm so happy. We got this nice, peaceful property where I get to spend the rest of my days with Yen. Letter from Regis. If you're reading these words, it means I am already far beyond the borders of Toussaint and you have found my muta generator. Of course, you may dub this instrument however you like, perhaps something more fitting to your taste uh, or better reflecting its function, for I have no doubt your knowledge on the subject of mutagens is far more profound and thorough than mine. I've been working on this device in my spare time, but now it is finished and I am convinced, as convinced as an inventor can be before his invention has been used as intended, of the usefulness of this apparatus. You are surely wondering what function it is meant to serve. As the name indicates, the muta generator generates mutagens. It operates by absorbing electromagical energy waves from bodies. In the case, the bodies of the monsters and evildoers you kill. When it is absorbed enough, the muta generator changes the stored energy into a greater mutagen, which I suspect you will make good use of. As you surely understand, I am an amateur engineer, which is why you must forgive the lack of an ability for you to direct this operation. Which mutagen emerges is random, uh, meaning chance will decide whether it's green, red, or blue. Chance, yet I have noted the colors tend to alternate, alternate by and large. I trust you shall find my gift useful. You must know I did it out of modesty. <laughs> the muta generator. Uh, it just like sits in your inventory, I guess. I must have missed an opportunity for a trophy. Because I only have two. Look at this nice house I have. We have Marlene cooking it up. Can I, like, sit on the bench with the end? Or is it just... No? Okay, well. Well, there we are. GG. Guys, I gotta go to bed. I've been up for 25 hours. Well, I've been up longer than that. I've been streaming 25 hours. I've probably been up for, like... 27, 28, probably somewhere in that range. G G. Honestly, I have no idea what we're doing tomorrow. I mean, in a perfect world, we're playing Dying Light 2, but I still don't have a review code. At this point, I'm pretty sure I'm not getting one. So, I, I honestly don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, possibly... Possibly dying light too tomorrow, but I don't know. Um, but I think it's we're we're honestly in a pretty good spot. Uh, I I am planning on coming back to this game when the patch drops. I think that's happening sometime in the summer. And what I'll probably do is just pick it up right here where we're at, and um, we'll take 
a little bit of time to just make sure that my build is set up. I actually really like this build a lot. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep this build into my next playthrough. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good all around. I got plenty of mutagen to develop the stuff that I want to develop. I'm going to just pare my pack down and make sure that I'm ready to go for new game plus. Cause obviously some of the stuff that, you know, I'm used to, i.e. Um, getting good deals <laughs> uh, is going to go away for a while. And I think what I, I think what I'm going to do in my next playthrough is I'm not going to really focus on doing the like extra objectives. I'm going to focus on doing the main quest and I'm going to focus on like contracts and stuff. But I don't think I'm going to do as much exploration in my second playthrough because I don't want it to. I don't want it to take another 160 hours to play through it again. Um, but I am looking forward to New Game Plus. I mean, we, like I said, we have a really nice build. Uh, we only really need two plus four. That's six. Um, ten, eleven. 12, 13 more levels to finish off that, and then probably another five at most, so 18, and then adding up these ability points for whatever, 18, so that would be 28... So, like, 40, I think. So, level 92 it would be the level in which we would complete the build. But, right now, uh, I'm just going to I'm just gonna level this stuff up, honestly. Like, I think it's more important to focus on, especially now that I have this many... <laughs> of the slots open, I think it's more important to just focus on getting these up to as high level as possible. The problem was like going up to this one, I need 12 of the mutations unlocked and it just gets so expensive for these last few. So I think it's just better to, uh, to leave this one until I actually like max out everything else. And then I'll pursue the new mutations and then I'll get the last one after that, which I don't know what my last one's going to be yet. I think I might do Hunter's Instinct because I'm not spending adrenaline points. I'm just using those adrenaline points to increase the regen of my stamina. So based off of that, like extending mutagen decoctions, that doesn't matter to me at all. Um... Killing spree would be fun, I think. But I think crit damage is honestly going to be better than crit chance. <coughs> Fast metabolism could be good, too. So I can fire off potions a little bit more quickly. But generally, I think I won't use fast metabolism as much. It'll be nice, though. It'll be nice. Because, yeah, I'm I'm basically trying to proc as many free potions as possible. That's kind of the, the goal. So maybe I will go for fast metabolism instead. Fast metabolism would make it to where I can, like, chain potions as often as I want. I can get it. I can basically get as powerful as I want whenever I want. Because I can just throw down. Like, I'm going to. I'm going to be with fast metabolism. If I maxed it out, I could drop five toxicity points per second. Actually, I think it's six, which that's fast. <laughs> that's really fast. Um, basically means I could throw down a potion like every few seconds. And I get so many goddamn doses, it would be totally fine.
So you can have two decoctions active. Yeah, that's what I'm using right now. I have metamorphosis. I can get an additional three decoctions every time I, I deal critical hit damage. I get up to three additional decoctions on top of what I have. Plus, I'm using the manticore gear. So I have maximum. I have bonus toxicity coming from that. I have some coming from the build that I'm using. And then... Yeah, like, I'm just getting a bunch of free... Like, my buffs, I can get, if I do it right, I can get, like, three rows of buffs active at a time. It's it's actually crazy. Because I can have six decoctions, and then, like, any time I drink a potion, like... seems like it seems like when you use a certain potion type though seems like you can only have three potion effects active at a time huh that's kind of interesting guess what I'll do. I'll just go right back here. Where Jennifer and I will enjoy this view together. And with that, and a very full heart after playing through this game, Apparently now Yennefer's standing too. <laughs> just had enough of it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I uh, I'm I'm feeling very satisfied. Let me see when the uh... let me see when this Witcher update is supposed to hit. It doesn't say when. My guess is it'll be in the summer, but they don't have a date on it yet. All right, guys. I got to call it 25 hours. Like I said, tomorrow possibly, um, possibly Dying Light 2. Also, possibly, a day off. I, I honestly don't know. Um, just kind of, just kind of keep your ears open. Like I said, I was supposed to do my my uh, winter subathon this weekend, but I didn't get to really finish explaining that earlier. But um, yeah, I just, I feel like just with The Witcher, I've it's it's taken up all of my time. I really haven't had a chance to prepare. Uh, for a subathon, and I also just like like I, I don't feel prepared. I don't really have a game that I just like want to grind right now, and I haven't done a Hazathlon in so long that I just don't know that it's like I don't know that it would be a good event to like be de-rusting all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't know. I gotta put some more thought into it. I, I still plan on having one for now. But I think it's just going to be a little bit later. What I'll probably do instead this weekend, because this weekend is my partner anniversary. Let me let me get an exact 
Let me get an exact day here. Um, it is on Sunday. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't done all of the Gwent stuff, Berserk. Uh, but it's literally just I'm missing a couple cards in uh, Velen. I'm missing, like, maybe five or six cards. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think what I'm going to do is maybe just do, like, a little celebration stream Sunday. Just something cozy, nothing, nothing over the top. Um, but I'll probably just have some alcoholic beverages. And um, I might play some Resident Evil games, like maybe Outbreak or something, I don't know. Uh, but it'll, it'll just be something cozy and something chill with alcohol. <laughs> um, that, that'll be the plan. So that'll, I'll do that on Sunday, probably Sunday evening. But, uh, yeah, as far as the actual subathon goes, I'm going to push it to later in the month. Cause I just, I want to, I want to, I want to put the same level of preparation into this one that I put into the September one. And the September one went like super, super well. I just feel like The Witcher's taken up all my time, and I just really haven't had a chance to prepare. And I, I, I started working on it a few weeks ago, but as soon as I started playing The Witcher, like I just completely stopped working on it. So I'm gonna try to have some more stuff together for it, uh, and then and then hopefully be able to present something when I have a little bit more information later in the month. Uh, maybe it'll be sort of like a send off into Elden Ring. Maybe I'll try to plan it like right before Elden Ring drops or something. I'm not sure. But if I go live tomorrow, it'll probably either be Dying Light 2 if I decide to spend the money. Um, as of right now, I don't have a review code, and it's not looking like I'm going to get one, so I'll probably just have to shell out the money myself. Uh, but I just I kind of don't really want to spend $60 right now. But we'll just have to see. But in any case, uh, if you don't see me tomorrow, just assume that I took a day off. Um, enjoy yourselves, guys. Take care. I'm going to go get some sleep. I'm fucking exhausted. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to have some food. But stay safe, everybody. Stay healthy. Stay happy. I'll be back either tomorrow or what is it, Sunday. Yeah, tomorrow or Sunday. Um, and we're going to keep the grind going. So we only got three weeks until Elden Ring drops, three weeks from today. So I'm really excited. Hope you guys are too. Take care, everybody. GG's. I love the game. Love the game. Can't wait to play it again when the patch comes out. Take care, everybody. Peace out.